up you guys welcome back to the channel it's Saray Karen I just wanted to come on here and bring you guys a quick video I know yes there is going to be another s21 ultra video I promise you guys this is the last one but for you guys who are just getting this phone I wanted to show you guys five or more settings that you are going to want to change when you set up your Galaxy S21 Ultra. The first setting you guys are gonna wanna change in the phone is deleting all the unnecessary apps. Now, I have AT&T, so there's a lot of AT&T bloatware that is on the phone, some things that I cannot delete, but I would suggest First, going through, scrolling through, deleting all the apps that you guys know that you aren't going to use. All of these Samsung apps, I kept a lot of the Google apps because they are necessary for me. But again, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is delete all of the bloatware that comes along with Samsung software. Going into the settings, the next thing that you guys are going to want to do is opening up your camera app and then hitting here. You guys see the little gear in the top left. Hit that button and then you can see all of the settings that Samsung allows you guys to change. For me, I scrolled all the way down and then I went to advanced settings for recording options. So I hit into there and then I put on high efficiency videos because again, I am shooting a video for you guys. If it's not up already, I am shooting a video on this phone for you guys. And then when you open up the settings in the camera app, you have all of the settings here. So a few of the things that I changed is video stabilization. I turned that on and if you're using this phone in your everyday life, that's something that you guys are gonna wanna turn on as well, just to take out the shakiness that you would get. Naturally, I'm a nervous person, so my hand tends to shake a little more. So you're gonna wanna put on that video stabilization just so that you guys are getting the most stable videos possible when you're out there shooting. Auto HDR, I turned that on because I wanna capture more details in my video and my pictures, so that's what you're gonna wanna have on. Something else that's not for everybody, but I did do it, is turning on the grid lines. Um, all of these camera settings is just gonna enhance the way that your camera is going to take pictures. The grid lines just provide an overall setting so that you guys know exactly what you're shooting. In this case, it would be this plant here. You guys know that the middle of the plant is lined up with the middle of your camera. So that's why I turned on the grid lines there. And if you ever want to completely erase and start over your settings, you guys can always go into reset camera settings. It's not going to reset your phone, it's just gonna reset set all of the camera settings that you guys already changed. Another setting that you guys are gonna wanna change is the display. I'm not talking about the brightness or anything. I'm talking about the motion smoothness. And then we're gonna tap into there, and this is where you guys are getting that 120 hertz. And of course, it's giving you a little graphic here showing you what it looks like with the adaptive basis compared to what it looks like with the standard. And I'm gonna go and show you guys right now on my Twitter feed, I'm gonna just go here and show you guys me scrolling and you can just see how smooth the scrolling is you're not really getting any stops any hatching it's just a complete smooth scroll so that's really nice but be mindful when you do turn on that adaptive setting it is going to consume a little bit more of your battery life another important change you guys are gonna want to make is changing your screen resolution to 1440 now I would not recommend keeping it on this forever but if you guys are just opening up your phone it is something fun to see and of course Samsung gives you guys another graphic just showing you exactly how the difference is compared to HD plus FHD plus WQHD plus and I like having it on the 1440 display resolution just because everything is a lot more clear so you guys again you're not gonna want to keep it on that forever if you're worried about battery life but it is a fun setting to change give it about a week see how your battery is responding to the 1440 display resolution and still right now I am at 90% battery. I've been using my phone all this morning and it's not really phased. So I would definitely suggest going in again. I'll show you guys how to get there. You're going to go in, go to display. You're going to go into the settings, scroll all the way down, screen resolution. And that's where you guys get that option to change the screen resolution. That's going to be it for this video, you guys. This is a really quick video. I just wanted to get on here and show you guys for you guys that are just getting your Samsung S21 Ultra straight out of the box 
box, a few settings that you are gonna wanna change. Again, everything that you want to change is located. You swipe down from the top and you see the gear here. A lot of the things that we changed today had to do with the display. Again, it is preference. So I changed my motion smoothness. I changed that to adaptive because I really like that 120 hertz. Again, I also changed my screen resolution 1440 just because I want the best resolution that I can get. So you guys, this is everything that you're gonna wanna change so that you can get the most out of your Samsung S21 Ultra. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.